More stunning news tonight about the investigations dogging President Trump and the links to porn star Stormy Daniels. Rudy Giuliani, who just joined Trump's legal team with a mandate to stamp out controversy, has ramped it all up. Giuliani stunned everyone, including the host of Fox News, when he completely contradicted President Trump, saying not only did the president know about the payment of hush money to Stormy Daniels, Trump reimbursed his lawyer for it. Having something to do with paying some Stormy Daniels woman 130000 I mean, which is going to turn out to be perfectly legal. That money was not campaign money. Sorry, I'm giving you a fact now that you don't know. It's not campaign money. No campaign finance violation. So, so they, they funneled it through the law firm. Funneled through the law firm and the president repaid it. The thing is, President Trump has denied he knew anything about that payment, which was meant to buy Daniel silence about her alleged affair with Trump. It raises questions about whether Trump publicly lied and whether he broke campaign finance rules. Our Washington bureau chief, Jackson Prosco, is dissecting all this. Jackson, was this just a huge gaffe by Giuliani, or is this part of some strategy? Well, Donna, all we know is that uh, this announcement seems to have caught almost everyone inside the White House off guard. And if it is some sort of strategy, it carries massive risks for the president. This wasn't something that was initially known, but later learned. The White House now claims the president didn't know his personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, had paid off Stormy Daniels to the tune of $130,000 while the president and his team also admit that Cohen was simply providing services and was repaid through a hefty monthly retainer to stop what Trump calls false accusations of an affair. So to make it go away, they, they made this Cohen payment. didn't even ask. Uh, Cohen, didn't, Co Cohen made it go away. He did his job. But the question of who knew what and when is now inescapable and raises legal questions for everyone involved. This was the president less than a month ago. Did you know about the Suddenly, those claims may have been blown out of the water. Trump's newest legal advisor struggled to explain the contradiction. This was for personal reasons. This was the president had been hurt personally, not politically, personally so much. Personal or political, if Michael Cohen paid the money to Daniels to silence her before the election, that could violate election finance laws. But if the president made the payment or had knowledge of it, Experts say he could face legal problems, too. That puts him on the hook for possible criminal violations of federal law. So, Jackson, what is the legal risk to President Trump because of Giuliani's admission? Well, Donna, a number of experts are trying to make the case that Michael Cohen's payment amounted to a loan to Trump. Legally, that needed to be disclosed if it's the case, whether it was personal or political. In other words, this is all potentially another violation of campaign finance laws, and that could carry either civil or criminal penalties. Lots to try to figure out here, Jackson. Rudy Giuliani seems to be telling anyone who will listen that Trump repaid Michael Cohen for this Stormy Daniels payment. You have to wonder why. Yeah, well, remember, Michael Cohen himself is under investigation right now. It wasn't that long ago that his office was raided by the FBI, and there's been plenty of speculation since then that he might flip on Trump if he's squeezed too hard by the threat of criminal charges. So all of this might explain why Trump is suddenly so willing to fall on his sword and take some of the pressure off of his own lawyer, Donna. It certainly is dramatic. Jackson in Washington, thank you.